Alrighty, welcome back in. So, we are on our next episode of the Bridge Troll Build, and I'm going to show you what I have uh, been working on. So, there are now five secret entrances to this base, and I'm at one right now. So, I was able to get through, through there, right? Nice, you can see I, I need to cover these windows up because they're too close to the ground. But I made another secret entrance somewhere over here. So you come through, come through, come through. And there's a door right here. Which takes you down. It's very So I did plant the blueberries. There's also... Right here, there's also uh, uh, twigs. And I planted this pine. It was to kind of... I mean, the pine fit because you got one there, you got one up there. So it just made sense and it actually turned out really well how it hugs the corner. Um, I did just a tiny bit of ground manipulation here, but not very much. Just kind of left it as it was. Came down in here, and I'll kind of show you about. So we come down. And in the spots where I, I misjudged the angle, you know, and I have to move over, I made it like it was a feature, as if, okay, they came down and... They hit a growth, so they had to adjust their tunnel. Well, actually, they would have been going upward, but they had to adjust their tunnel. And then you come in here, you've got this. I love how sometimes you can see through the, the wall. Um, you got your ventilation. You can see right there, there's the bridge. Uh, ventilation is a, a, a strongly worded term here. Um, it's weird that this stuff always opens itself up when you go off. So you would come here and this would be a dead end, almost like this is the foundation of the the tower there. But you would come in. And I haven't done anything yet with this tower. I'm still kind of, you know, getting my brain to think about how I want to do all this. But this works well. And th this lower floor here will be probably mostly like storage and whatnot, uh, just to fit the space better I think but then you'd come up here and now there's another another way in so once again haven't done anything with this space yet this is all all the underground stuff I honestly just recently finished so I haven't done a heck of a lot with it yet but it's kind of getting there so I like how I did these insets um, into the stonework like okay so we have a brace every so often and that brace just happens to be where the torch is so that the torch isn't encroaching on your space. And I think that worked out really well. Uh, imagine we were going this way and ran into some problems. Same thing. Uh, give an idea that, okay, well, this is an underground mine where they're digging out the stone. And certain areas they went and they found fungus. And they're like, oh, we can't go that way anymore. And they had to stop. Uh, this part here is a work in progress. Uh, if you have seen one of my videos from the demo, uh, you will get some idea of what I'm thinking about doing in here. But this is this part is going to be where the the bulk of the stone was dug out. This will be the underground mine, if you will. And it goes through here. We got some nice supports to the tower because the tower is right above us now. And I showed this in the Let's Build a Crane video, but if you hadn't seen that, basically this is the bottom of that other secret entrance tower. So you got like, they're, they're mining the stone and they're bringing it here and they got all their tools and everything. They got a, a workbench and some blueprints and whatnot because, and I see I missed a few blocks right there for shame. This isn't fully fleshed out either. I'm going to put some like storage and stuff back here. Maybe this will be a little, uh, ooh, I got that. That'll be a little, uh, uh, half bath right there. So you would come up and we have a crane. Once again, I do have a video about this, but I will go into it a little bit here. So this crane is to help bring up all of the stone that they're doing to use to build the bridge. I inset a beehive smoker into this right here to make it look like that's the operational lever for the crane itself. 
You got a war banner on a, just a floor with your fencing set into the floor. And then you just use the tool here. You go up to this, you go to that, and you use stone. And you just place a couple pieces of stone till it kind of looks like a rock. Uh, the bucket's in there just to provide a little bit of extra interest to it. But this is the same place where we can get up to the top there. And I'll show you where this goes out. Hello, Bloom. This is this bridge right here, this tower. So this section right here. Now, the other thing I'm going to work on. So even fully expanded, the world only goes to here. And I only want to use one um, flame altar on this one. I don't want to go any further. But I have a long way left and right. So east and west on this thing goes a long, 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 long way. So when I dig underground here, I'm thinking about coming out. Let's see if I can. I'm afraid if I go too much further, I'll fall off. Um, go out and maybe put like um, window coming out of the side of this, but down close to the shroud. Uh, some more ventilation, get some underground because I expect to flesh out the underground really well. But over here. One thing I'm going to do to also give it um, more like a work site is, and I've already started, so this here, this face, I think is a perfect face because this this space goes way, way, goes way over to that line there. I think this is a perfect facing to be, um, it wouldn't be called a pit mine, but whoever's done any kind of mining, where they'll take a a face of rock and just start mining into it. And then hopefully at some point they give us, uh, allow us to use structures like this and the scaffolding that we have up here on the bridge, because I want to do, um, you know, uh, build this like it's a stone quarry going into the hill. I'll have to be careful with where I'm going underground on this side. Cause you know, I'm underground right where my feet are, but, but way below me. So I got to make sure that I don't hit that, but I think it'd be really cool. It'd be a, an interesting touch to give this this face right here uh, a quarry look. Um, well, we'll see. We'll see what they end up giving us. You can also use, I don't have any on me right now, but scaffolding, if you inset the scout scaffolding into like a wall, actually. Oh, that's not a workbench. If you inset scaffolding into a wall, it actually appears to be similar to to the uh their uh the scaffolding the devs put up it's not quite as good but but it looks all right so that's that's the next plan doing that i gotta flesh out underneath and work on that uh interesting little bit that i'm doing over there with the kind of red glowy wall so that's where we're at now and i uh, hope you like it thanks for watching